What's up, you guys? AB Investments is back with you. Wow, what a day, right? This is exactly what I was warning guys for. This is literally exactly what I was warning for. I was telling you guys, watch out from these, some of those, not all the YouTubers, but some of the YouTubers that have been uh, spreading, you know, info that they didn't know much about, especially about weekly and bi-weekly option plays. It's, it's the it's the craziest and riskiest thing riskiest things and you could do in the market and if you don't have that knowledge for it and, and, and it's somewhat of a convictional you know information uh, conventional information that makes you like just so convicted to the point where you know like 100% not you can never be 100% but at least close to it as possible to know that this is about to happen, which is as close as insider trading as possible to play those uh, options and to do it that way. But anyways, that's the craziest part about it. And a lot of people are, are up to and about to lose a lot of money on options this week. Unfortunately, guys, because again, when you listen to when the, the thing I said yesterday in yesterday's video was you don't want to do something or be into something unless you know everything about it, unless you know it. And it, it, let alone listening and following someone astray that does not know themselves anything much about it. They just have already earned your trust. And that's shame on them. They earned your trust, but now they're playing. I mean, that's a big level of responsibility when... when when you have so many, when you have a certain, it doesn't matter, anyone, even if it was just one person and they have their trust in you, it's just a shame that you would, you know, try, like, do things like that or even talk and say, like, oh, I'm going to do this or let's do this and and, and lead them astray, straight to the slaughterhouse. Uh, and then come up with some other video saying, oh, they manipulated or whatever, and this is wrong, this market is so screwed up, acting like you got screwed with them, and that's it, like kind of like your justification to get out of it. No, you should have not led anyone into this to go to that, to, straight to that slaughterhouse. And not, it's not fully on them, but it's also on you. You gotta take, you gotta take full responsibility of your actions because you made the call. Okay, they influenced you, but you made the call. Uh, again, guys, I'm not a financial advisor because I haven't said anything about finances yet or any of that. I'm never going to say anything about finances to you as in like what you should do or what you should follow. I'm out here, you know, driving and it's like crazy and raining like crazy. Like it's... Um, I, I, actually, I was gonna make a reference, but I'm not gonna make it anymore. It's it's it's, it's time wise, it's not as uh, friendly. But um, but yeah. So unfortunately, guys, yes, you see that. Like especially like you have people like even Matt Coors coming out there yesterday, pumping up, talking about oh the money machine goes burr and all this shit and the feds. As far as I know, <laughs> I think they, 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 they've been just as con a complicit to this whole thing. I mean, we've seen Jerome Powell um, and his scandal that they're trying to cover up so quickly, um, you know, tr making trades in the blackout trading, uh, you know, timeline and... It's, if it's if it's if it's proven or not who knows but again there's no smoke without fire so you come out and, and, and he Matt Matt Kors ass comes out and start talking about this like it's the market is correcting have a trying to sound as sophisticated as possible talking about oh yeah there was fears of the rate hikes but now they're gone so therefore the markets are reacting to this but then the very the very next day market plummets worse like like all the gains from yesterday are all gone in one day which is the very next day and guess from what now the new chapter in marvel's book <laughs> is and dc whatever you want to call it is fear of war that's been on the block for the longest why didn't why did it not why was there no fear yesterday you know, so they were all pumped up yesterday, but then now, oh no, no, there's war. Let's let's pump down. Um, that's with 
the 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 war de-escalating as far as at least talks wise I mean the war could still happen but at this very own moment as I'm shooting this video the war is like the, the possibility of war with Russia is is like much less than what it was last week last week when is it at it when it, when it was at its height at its climax um, so yeah <laughs> it's all over the place guys the moral of this video is don't there's no moral to this video this is like all over the place it's just like this market this market is like literally all over this place um, one day this one day that and you I'll leave the guess to you because I I'm not gonna guess or give you any of my own thoughts on that but I'll leave the guess to you as in who do you think is pumping and dumping the market on a daily base every single day of the week moving it as they will see and ultimately making so much money in the process of doing so collecting so much money so guys it's so it's so it's so wide open and right in front of you like it's so so easy to see like it is not so hard to know when is gonna be the next pump now for example like I, 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 again, this is not financial advice, guys, but it's so easy to see what is going to pump. Everything is going to pump again, at least by next week. It's it, And you can back check me on this when you see it because, oh, the escalation of war, they're going to give you some sort of, oh, yeah, Russia is open to talking about de democracy and whatever and diplomacy. And the next thing you know market is oh it's excited now it's not it's not in fear anymore not as much at least no well, not as much and then the very next day you might get another dump down again all this is nothing but preparation to create and make like i've said this in my videos before and again you can go back and look at it and fact check me on this this is the way that they are planning and they've been doing to pay for the mother of all squeezes only can be paid for through the community some people will make money on the on the ashes and the bones of many of the community I'm, as, unfortunately as as, 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 as as bad as I don't like to as much as I don't want to like or I like to say that but you could go back to my very first few videos and you can see that that's exactly what I've been saying you can see for the last year year and a half that's what they've been doing pumping and dumping things getting a lot of money which is through retail because they're all working hand in hand in hand all the institutes and hedge funds uh, the the Federal Reserve don't even get me started on them because they've realized I mean again even the SEC knows what's up like they've all seen the bad like how bad it is and they're like okay it's either we're gonna bail these guys out or we're to what's happening and then they'll 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 somehow make up the money that's needed to pay for this bill uh, that they, they they ordered so much love guys don't get as as emotional as I am right now I'll come back with another video later on and I will explain why yes even yesterday I said this is it because I see the resemblance and the patterns that ha occurred in back in June and even January before that. So much love, guys, again. I need to go get something to eat, and uh, I will, I'll come back to you later, all right?